Captain Richard Phillips of the Maersk, Alabama, is on his way home. CBS News correspondent Sheila McVicker is in London with the latest on that. Good morning, Sheila. Good morning, Julie. Well, heading home indeed. It wasn't even dawn when we saw Captain Richard Phillips come down the gangway of the USS Bainbridge and head off to the airport. Now, on the tarmac there, there was a company jet, a jet from his firm Maersk, waiting to whisk him home. And we know, Julie, that there is a big celebration awaiting him in Underhill, Vermont. Banners to welcome home the biggest celebrity in Underhill, Vermont, and possibly the biggest hero in the United States at the moment. You got it. CBS's Sheila McVicker. Thanks, Sheila. Well, the rest of the crew on the Maersk, Alabama, reunited with their families yesterday. Among them was electrician John White, who joins us from Orlando, Florida. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Where, what were you doing when you first heard there were pirates on the ship? It was about 7.15 in the morning. I was sitting down having my morning coffee. And how did you respond? What did you do? Well, the, we have an alarm for our intruder, and the alarm went off. I went to the, my station. The captain and chief engineer had kept, you know, drilling us on what to do, and I went to where he told me, which was the engine control center. The chief engineer told me to make sure that a couple of uh, doors that entered into the engine room were secured. I went out. I closed the door, made sure there was closed, locked. I went back to the engine room. I sat down and drank the rest of my coffee. The chief engineer told me to go to my hiding spot. I went there, there were several other crew members. It was, this time it wasn't too bad. The ventilation was running, the lights was on. I was there about a couple of minutes, the ventilation went off, the regular lights went off, and the emergency lights went off. Then it was just total darkness and it was hot. I think the temperature probably got up to around 130 before it was over. The, uh, I lay there for a couple of hours and sweating and I had a work suit on. I pulled it down to my underwear because I was totally wet with sweat. I would have taken it off except I figured, you know, the bad guys may get us. So I, I left it on. I figured if they got us, I'd probably need some clothes. And after about two hours, the we heard this bouncing on the door and the chief engineer and a gentleman brought a slightly wounded bad guy. This before they brought him in though, I heard on the bridge, I had a radio over right. the communication system. I heard the, one of the guys say, if you don't tell where they're at, I'm gonna kill you, I'm gonna kill you. And about two seconds later, I heard a shot fire. Well, I was reasonably convinced that some guy would say, kill somebody. And a few minutes later, uh, probably 10 minutes later, there was a knock on the door. And this gentleman from the uh, bridge, who's called an able-bodied seaman, they assist the officers up there in uh, operating the ship and lookouts. But anyway, mm. him and the chief engineer, they uh, drug this gentleman in. You know, he, he was not in too good health. And his, his hand, I believe his right hand, was had a, it was bleeding pretty heavy. Jeez. And I kind of found out from one of the guys that came in that he was a fellow on the bridge that uh, they threatened to kill. They sh he said they shot about an inch uh, beside his head. And he, uh, then the guy said, you going to take us to where they're at? And he said, yeah, yeah. And they, he got the guy down. That's how they captured him. And Sir? Uh, he came in with us. And the fellow, as I said, his hand was bleeding profusely. Later mm. I found out, I talked to the chief engineer. He said, I... So we knocked him down. I had a knife in his throat and said so he put his hand up to try to pull the blade away from his neck and he cut it. And so what the, an incredible, everybody. yeah, what an ordeal yeah. you have been through. And uh, John White, we are so happy that you are back home in Orlando, Florida, and you look healthy and safe and sound. Thank you for sharing your story with us, sir. Okay, thank you very much. You're so welcome. Now let's head back hey, to New York. I make one closing statement. Yes, real Roll brief, tie, please. Go. Roll Tide, go Bama. There you go. John White, thank you.